Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House, and I would like to thank everybody who has recently watched my mutant dinosaur videos. It's very cool to read all the comments. Some people have been liking them, some people not so much. I'd like to give a special shout out to Susie and her brother Joe, who have been building their own mutants at home. Hi Susie and Joe. Today we're going to be doing some more mutants. We're going to be doing mutant dinosaurs with weapons. First dinosaur, we're going to start with this lovely blue T-Rex. Let's join in another T-Rex. A double T-Rex. In fact, let's make it a triple T-Rex. The balance doesn't feel quite right. This is a crawling triple T-Rex. Okay, let's add a weapon. So this particular T-Rex now has a missile system. It's a little bit stealth. This particular dinosaur would have to creep up on another dinosaur in the long grass, and then once it got in range, fire the the missile and then crawl up to the corpse of the dinosaur to feed. T-Rexes don't usually have the patience to perform such a delicate manoeuvre. So we might add helicopter blades to the mutant so it wouldn't have to be so stealth. So it could make an aerial assault on its prey, flying up, firing the missile, coming down to land, crawling over to the creature, and then feeding. With three heads it could also feed quite quickly. So let's try it out. So say we had a Triceratops feeding over in this vicinity. The mutant could possibly fire whilst flying, but we're going to do our test on the ground. So it could come into land and then fire. Bullseye, so it takes out the Triceratops, crawls across to the carcass, moves in and feeds upon the unlucky dinosaur. So the question is, what are we going to call this particular mutant dinosaur? We have three Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Triple headed Tyrannosaurus, or we could go with, we could change Ty to Try. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Although it crawls, it doesn't run, so Tricrawlosaurus. Tricrawlosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus missile copter. Heli missile Tyrannosaurus. Copter missile Tyrannosaurus. Missile copter. Tyrannosaurus. I think Missile Copter Tyrannosaurus. Let's go with that one. So what do you guys think of the Copter Missile Tyrannosaurus? Okay, next mutant we're going to start with Indominus Rex. Always a good place to start when you're doing a mutant. Okay, we're going to give this a net shooting machine because Indominus Rex, as we know, 
likes to hunt for sport, not necessarily to eat. So the way this particular machine works is nets are loaded and if you have your desired prey, you can shoot the net and catch the prey. This is a particularly good one. This is a particularly good gun for a Indominus Rex because it's all about the sport. We're not going to give this dinosaur any flight capabilities. So let's give it a little bit more speed. So now we've given our Indominus more speed, but we have a problem unless we go that way. Our gun doesn't fit on anymore. Let's build up the gun. We'll build it up a little bit more. Now we have 360 degree rotation of the weapon. Let's make the gun a little bit more stable. There we go, now we have an Indominus with extra fast legs and a netting machine that is used to capture the sport rather than to feed. So a Triceratops isn't known for its speed, but it is known for its good defence. So the Indominus Rex could easily shoot a net to capture the Triceratops in order to gain an advantage upon it. So now we have to think of a name for this contraption. So we have Indominus Rex DNA and a netting gun. Indominus Nets. A super-legged Indominus Nets. So what do you guys think of the long-legged Indominus Nets? Okay, next mutant dinosaur. Let's start with the Dilophosaurus. Even though there's no evidence in the fossil records of Dilophosaurus spitting venom, I like the idea in Jurassic Park that it actually did do that. Instead of spitting venom, let's give the Dilophosaurus a tranquilizer dart built into its hand. In fact, let's give it two. Instead of spitting venom, it shoots tranquilizer darts. Let's give this mutant a winch feature so it could tranquilize its victim and then drag its victim back to its lair. It's quite a slow moving. So what we're going to do is give it eyes at the back. So the double-headed Dilophosaurus. And we'll give it a third tranquilizer dart as well. So this particular mutant is definitely built for stealth. So it would crawl through the swampy marshes until it found a victim tranquilized it and then dragged it away to where it wanted to consume its prey. So what are we going to call this mutant? Let's call it, well it's obviously a Dilophosaurus, a double-headed Dilophosaurus. I like a tranquilizing Dilophosaurus. Tranquilizing winched Dilophosaurus. A tranquilizing Dilophosaurus dragger or a tranquilizing Dilophosaurus dragon. Maybe a double-headed tranquilizing Dilophosaurus dragon. 
what do you guys think of the double headed tranquilizing Dilophosaurus dragon? Okay, let's do another dinosaur mutant. Let's start with this Lego Tyrannosaurus. Okay, let's, let's change its legs. What if we gave it, instead of having a leg, it had a raptor? Let's give it another raptor on the other side. So this particular mutant, its legs are actually velociraptors. Running raptors, so it's got four legs instead of two. Okay, let's give it a weapon. So we've got a harpoon here. So it's a Tyrannosaurus with raptors for legs and a harpoon weapon. So let's say that it's desired prey is this Triceratops in the distance. it up with our harpoon ready to shoot at the triceratops. Bullseye. Then the raptors would run over and the particular mutant would have its meal. So the question is what are we going to call this contraption? Running raptors, Tyranna raptors, Tyranna raptor, Tyranna running raptor harpoon, a harpooning Tyranna runner raptor. I think that's it. This is a harpooning Tyranna runner raptor. What do you guys think of it? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Press Play Picture House, click on the links for more videos. See you next time.